Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to look at an interesting combinations problem. As you could see, the formulation is pretty long. So please feel free to pause this video here and take a good look at the question. In this problem, we are dealing with the English language, which contains a total of 26 letters. According to the problem, 11 of these letters are symmetric. Therefore, the remaining 15 letters are asymmetric. Let us represent the set of symmetric letters as S and the set of asymmetric letters as A. Using a combination of symmetric and asymmetric letters, we need to build computer passwords. These passwords should match three criteria. The first of these criteria is that the passwords should be three letters long. Next, no repetition is allowed. In other words, we cannot repeat an alphabet in the password. The password should be comprised entirely of unique alphabets or letters. And finally, the password should contain at least one symmetric letter. In other words, the password could contain one symmetric letter and two asymmetric letters, or the password could contain two symmetric letters and one asymmetric letter or the password could be formed of entirely three entirely of symmetric letters let us look at these cases individually in the first case we need to pick one symmetric letter and two asymmetric letters one symmetric letter could be picked from a total of 11 symmetric letters in 11C1 ways. Similarly, two asymmetric letters could be picked from a total of 15 asymmetric letters in 15C2 ways. Furthermore, the chosen letters could be rearranged among themselves in three factorial ways. Let us try to understand this three factorial. For the purpose, let us pick three alphabets, A, B, and P, for building our password. The possible po password combinations that could be built using A, B, and P are A, B, P, A, P, B, B, A, P, B, P, A, B, A, B, and P, B, A. As you could see, we could rearrange the letters A, B, and P in six different ways or in three factorial ways to represent in the factorial notation. Simplifying this expression, we have 11 times 15 times 14 over 2 times 3 factorial which gives us 6930. In the second case we have to pick two symmetric letters and one asymmetric letter to build our password. 
we could pick two symmetric letters from a symmetric letters from a total of 11 symmetric letters in 11 C2 ways. Similarly, we could pick one asymmetric letter from a total of 15 asymmetric letters in 15 C1 ways. As before, the chosen letters could be rearranged among themselves in three factorial ways. We could simplify this expression as follows. Which gives us 4950 possible passwords. In the third case, we need to pick three symmetric passwords, sorry, three symmetric letters from a total of 11 symmetric letters. This could be done in 11 C3 ways. As before, the chosen letters should be unique and these letters could be rearranged among themselves in three factorial ways. Simplifying this expression, we get 990. So the total number of passwords that could be generated using the conditions above is nothing more than the addition of the values we calculated with for case 1, 2 and 3. which gives us a grand total of 12,870 possible passwords. And this is the solution. The correct answer is option B. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you all the best for your preparation.